Greetings everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Grimworld Outpost Zero. Episode 18, Singe and Sorrow. No, Lucy, nope. I guess you're already dead, so... I don't need to really zone restrict you. So, uh, yeah, Nick the Good. I don't, I don't think it's gonna, uh... It's gonna go well for you. Kasune, your name is gonna be Nightbot. Because you wanted it. And then, uh... Nick, you're just gonna be Nick. Cheese, I don't think you... Yeah, you didn't set me up to change your name. Well, this is an interesting little stay that you guys have here. Let's hope that that fire doesn't burn out. <laughs> or you're... You know, you're gonna die. Glitch, do we have the Ezo? And have a good night, Glitch, if you're still here. Okay, I guess I don't have the Ezo yet. So we need 30 element zero. I have 20. And there's five here, so we're about to get it. Oh, Nick is jumping on the uh, research bench. Pods and bugs, ooh. Do we want bugs? Try another colony for trading the Lucy? Uh, what other colony? <laughs> it's all pirates. All pirates. All right, no one else but pirates. All right, 31 Ezo. Perfect. By my calculations, that's enough for just a car armor. All right, how prepared are we for the Reapers? I am trying to get by the camps, which is going to give us a little bit of an edge against the Reapers. I don't think we can take down a Reaper Reaper, um, but we should be able to at least take out husks and the like. Which is something. So pods and... Oh, Antigrain Warheads. Draw 45 hives to me. And it's from Zayd Masani. Oh, man. 45 hives. Well, we know where they're going to spawn. Uh, this expires in five days. Do I accept 45 hives? Yes or no? I think if you guys say yes, I can prepare a battle plan to be able to defend against this. Only if you think it's worth it. If you think it would be, I would be better served preparing for the Reapers, vote no. It's fine. Either way. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Yoda, you've got the helm. Ooh, all right. No is overwhelmingly the answer. I'll, uh, I'll let you vote a little bit longer, but it looks like no is going to be it, which is okay. Oh, another hydrate. I'm actually surprised that these guys haven't gone berserk yet. Because they're sleeping on the ground. It's rough living. And uh, this heavy fur parka, I probably will cancel again. Oh, I've made them. So, where are they? Or did they get worn by others? I don't see them. Dude, where's my parka? The message for warm clothes was gone. Well, it's September. It's only going to get colder. And if there's a cold snap, I don't want all my drill. Dying. Okay, uh, I'm done playing. Where's Where's Parker Waldo? Bring the Parkers to me. Should Icarus and Shell have Parkers? No, they're a sorry. They don't. Uh, they don't get afflicted by the uh, Keprel or whatever it's called syndrome. So they're fine. 
Plus, they're probably... Oh, oh, they wore the Parkers. I see, I see. Yeah, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, you two. Hop, hop, choo-choo, chop, chop, go in there. Shed the Parkas. One and two. And then Nightbot and Cheese. You are free from that hell. Congrats. Negative 58, negative 41. Good enough. Hey, buddy. Cheers. Husky, can you move? I don't need you under me. Under my feet. Don't want to run you over. Oh, man. Glitch, are you about to... Yeah, you're about to go crazy. Kept you working for too long. So just because... Just the car armor is almost done. Uh, this quest was a no. Crimson, thank you for even more gifted subs. And working on more Ezo. The tunnels look pretty cool. Oh, it looks like... No, there is not a dark spot here. It looks dark, but uh, I calculated it properly. One day I get to a thousand? Oh, man. Then I really owe you a beer. So, taking a look at all the Drell. Nick is the doomed one. And then... All the others? Oh, so Phoenix, I might want something warmer for you and Epi. Um, for me to do warmer... I'm going to wait until uh, Glitch is done making the Justicar armor. But that also means that I probably ought to hunt the Mega Sloth for Mega Sloth fur. So Trustin and Shellbell, you free? Yeah, they're both free. Let's go co-hunt. Make sure uh, Glitch doesn't make a toque. Good call. Let's uh, suspend that toque too. Spend everything. Just spend it all so it doesn't burn it. And Glitch, back to the Justicar armor. Hey, Shake. Thank you for the reset. One down. I'm just going to kill it and then move on to the next. Let someone else uh, haul and butcher. Because we have so many citizens now that um, easily can just do that kind of work. Because as you can see, they're all idle. Oh, Rager went for it. Hey, Rager, you're better suited for mining. I'll have you take over for Epi. These shots are so accurate now that his skill is 15 and he's wearing a uh, gun link. Just dead accurate. All right, so that will be fur for Epi and Phoenix, and then I'll I can breathe a little bit easier. They don't need need toques. Like Nightbot doesn't need a toque because he's already pretty warm. Unless I get a cold snap, I should probably prepare for the worst, knowing how things go. And this just a car armor is obviously going to get a rager, no doubt. And it is masterwork. Not terrible. Rager, throw that on. So the just a car armor, I think, was designed incorrectly. It's so strong. It's an outer layer only, so you can wear just a car armor with commando armor, which in no way is fair, or balanced, or even remotely sensible. Because it's just an insane amount of armor, as you're about to see. 160. So we have a commando layer here for 98 sharp, and the Justicar layer here for 142 sharp. It's stupid. It's stupid. But um, I like stupid, because 
Reapers are so strong. I need stupid. It would be good for me to have better commando armor, and you guys voted for that. So let me get some commando armor, and I think uh, Icarus and Rager are the only ones that really need commando armor because they're the only biotics. So uh, I will do that, but only after Glitch gets Parkas going. So I'm going to do two more heavy for Parkas. And let me do the prediction here. I also have Thrumbo, so I can do uh, Thrumbo clothing underneath as well. Uh, for even more ridiculousness. But Rager, you're looking pretty good. And then the other advantage is it raises the Botic Amp max. So Rager is um, going for a bigger pool. In fact, I get Botic Charge. I don't know what the requirements are, but we'll probably amp her soon. Keep going for the Ezo. RimWorld does hard cap at 200%, yes. She's not at it yet, but, you know, that um, the amount of armor that she's sporting right now is, like, high-level dumb. Dumb in a good way. Uh, so, Epi, that's yours. Much better. Negative 67. When Nick dies, I could do the funeral thing. Yeah, that's true. I wonder what's going to kill him first. The, uh... Keprols or the Lucy Lack. He has two Lucy left. So two Lucy is 12 and two thirds days of Lucy. And he's going to need a Luciferium dosage in about four days. So he has about um, 18, 19 days of Luciferium before he dies. And my guess is the Lucy Lack kills him first. Oh, well, then there's another six day grace period after that until you run out. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's uh it's a it's a toss up. All right, everybody's going to be in the stupidly highly insulating. Um... Nope. Okay, you too. The stupid highly insulating uh, heavy fur uh, parkas for the drell, so that my drell don't go to hell. And I think. I'm going to force a Tuke onto Nightbot as well, so that Nightbot um, is doubled up. Get rid of the flop cap. Make it run a prediction on it. I think there's probably more exciting things to run a prediction on than that. Otherwise, I would. At some point, uh, Yaman, in your light alliance armor, you could probably hand that back over to, like, Trustin or Glitch. <laughs> we don't need you to keep that forever. After I get Bionic Amp, um, what should I research? So, here are the choices. Uh, spacer clothing, turrets. Oh, I have turrets. Hold on. Let me correct that. Spacer clothing, weapons, armor, biofuel refining, prosthetics, or omni tools. I think, actually, ammo modification would be a really good one to include as well. So, sorry, again, ammo mods is going to be a seventh here. Ammo mods, let me explain that a little bit. It allows you to make cryo mods for inflicting hypothermia, disruptor mods for um, EMP, explosive rounds, incinerary rounds, that's kind of uh, self-evident, uh, piercing rounds for armor pen, and toxic rounds for toxic toxicity. It allows you to, like, modify your attack types, which uh, can be pretty powerful at times. So this commando armor, we need uranium and ezo, plasteel and advanced components. And I think I have all the materials required for it. So once glitch is out, sediment gone dark. Raccoon desert. So the reapers have destroyed this settlement here. Loss of pirates. Oh, well. No tears shed. Oh, I, um... Why are you sleeping there, cheese? That's not your bedroom. I've also forgotten, uh, I really do want to get the galaxy map up. So I'm going to work towards that once these commando armors are done.
Work faster for Rager. All right, we're definitely gonna put you on the Ezo. At some point, if I have idleness, well, okay, hold on. Maybe not the guys that are totally incapable. I might as well just have people sc trying to scan. So 14 advanced components. And that will make the galaxy map, which is a really cool feature of this mod. So here is commando armor number one, and then uh, we'll make number two, and that will keep Icarus and Rager nice and protected. I think it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to maybe get Asari weaponry to put a Asari sword into Icarus's hands and possibly Shellbell's as well. Um, if we amp up Shellbell further, it might be worth um, investing in amps for Shellbell so that Shellbell can also join the ranks of the biotics because they're so strong. And then at some point, maybe um, roll out Omni tools for Trustin and, uh, and other Pathfinders. Add more details for the Ezo? I could, yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. So I might as well. Whoa, Jesus. Rager was just like, hey, see that truck? Nope, not anymore. Shovel's just hanging out, uh, watching TV. Works for me. It's a mega screen. Another thing I'd like to do is to get the nice wreck out. But, I mean, I think we're going to go for the galaxy map first. And then I can do the War Zone or Hall of Vision. Or the VI interface. Although, one of these is a TV. No, maybe not. This is Cerebral Play. This is Hollow Watching. Yeah, okay. They don't. They're not. Yeah, it's fine. Never mind. Ignore me. I was wrong. No recreation for you. Sorry. So other things that we could do is... Looks like we're going with weapons here. Um, what should I do next? Uh, I You could still have me go out to the steel site. If you want me to go out to the steel site... Yeah, I owe you all going out to the steel site. So that's what I'm going to do next. Is head to the steel site. And then after I go to the steel site, um, head to the dark settlement. Focus on weapons and armor crafting. Um, focus on recreation and food or viewer suggestions. I'll be up to you of after I get out to the steel site because I'm still bingo steel. What we do next. And let me get a steel deep drill here to help with the steel situation because we're I'm out. Do I even have slag out here? I think we've like totally strip mined again. So instead of the Ezo Epi, I'm going to have you move that over to the steel. Seems like I need steel uh, faster and more. More sooner. My constructors that are like idle. Here. A flammable walkway which speeds up our walk speed to try to get to the steel node. And then in case of bugs, uh, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a mech hive. Oh, do we have a mech hive. Okay, goodness gracious, that is a lot of mechs. We have 11 centipedes. But why? 
Unfortunately, I only have three snipers, so that's rough. I will do my best to to mess with them as a um, you know with my biotics. No, it's it's not the amount of sniper rifles. It's I just literally don't have anyone that can use them. Uh, these sniper rifles are too heavy for Shellball to use, so uh, so that's the that's the limiting factor here. As, as I'll show you here, if I try to equip it, it's too heavy for a Bodak user. And then everybody else is citizens, so they're uh, they're not allowed to fight if I can help it. So we have got... I think, uh, fortunately, I don't really have a lot of pikemen here, right? Let me check the numbers. Lancers and centipedes and one pike. So the pikemen, the singular pikemen is the only one that can outrange me with uh, my sniper rifles, which is good. So Trustin, I am going to get you ready to drop a sabotage on them. And then shell bell. Actually, you guys hide here. Go out that way. Actually, all go that way. Because I'm going to um, surprise the Lancers to cluster them up. No, not yet. Now. Oh, Jesus. They're pissed at you. So the range of this ability is not... Sabotage is not easy to use because it's smaller than... Um, yeah, it's small. Let's keep moving. I'm going to switch doors. Rager and Shelba land there. And then Icarus start by throwing this one. And then Trustin, you lurk by a door ready for a sabotage. We are isolating and decimating here. There we go. One Lancer left. Well, two technically, but... Alright, I got one Berserk on. And then we'll start sniping them from the outside. Well, Berserk gets off cooldown. Need to make sure everybody is safe. Everybody else is sleeping, so, like, they're fine. It's just Epi. But Epi, guess what? Sorry, you're not coming out of this mining tunnel. Yep. You're staying in that mining tunnel for your own safety. My snipers. Let's start laying havoc. Shellbell, do you have... No, you don't have leader. Damage. Alright, the accelerator turret is downed. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's ditch this, uh, this area here. And have the only valid targets be outside the walls to lure everybody outside the walls.
Because if there's no, there's no valid targets, they're just gonna follow me out. Quit following me. Stop it. Alright, so the centipede I hacked is dead. Ooh, we dropped plasteel. Or no, components. Oh, those components are gone. Uh, so temporarily, sorry, but you're all on lockdown. Hope it's warm in there. I haven't checked. It is 63. Okay, you're good. Those heaters are enough. Awesome. All right, so I have the whole crew outside the walls. Unfortunately, only my snipers were the ones that took um, wake up. So I'm sure I'm going to get tired. And I think what I'm going to do here is um, focus fire on the heavy blasters to isolate the heavy blasters. Because once there's only one heavy blaster left, if I uh, hack it, then all of the incendiaries are going to fire at the heavy blaster and do nothing. Because that doesn't do damage. So, let's lance blasters here. Quite the fight, Lara. You have a lot of faith in my combat prowess. A little worried about, uh, about some of the centipedes that breached here and aren't coming towards me. Because as far as I can tell, there are no open doors and no valid targets. So they're probably just going to break, I'm guessing, wind turbines. But my geothermal generator, or my prefab generator is behind... Well, oh, they're going to break this. They're going to break my fire foam pop, which is going to be annoying. But, um... I did... Whatever. Oh, well. Alright, how is your needs? Super tired, super tired, super tired. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have these guys break off and try to clean out the ones in the base and then uh, close the door so that the base is secured again. Although it's gonna be really challenging to kill centipedes by themselves. Oh, they're gonna go after my, um, my solar panels too. That's gonna be annoying. All right, we're almost to firing range. Let's back up. Yep, solar. Predictable, but um, I'm coming. Now there is an anti-material rifle that you can unlock uh, later down in the weapon heavy weapons alliance, and this thing kicks like a mule and punches through everything. So I would love to get an anti-material rifle at some point. You guys did vote for me to research weapons. So next chance I get, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna research anti-material rifles for when centipedes come a-running. Yoink. Oh, I missed. Walked a little too far. Oh, no, I didn't. They just stopped firing at will. That's weird. Don't Lance Shellbell. No, 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 no. I see you staring at Shellbell. Ah! Whew. All right, so the centipede is coming in, and I am within firing range of it in a second, so that's not great. So let's try to beat up this Lancer and then get out of dodge. And Shellbell, try to get a throw on them. Back up, back up, back up, back up, now, back up, back up, back up. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Not the raccoon. Oh, Jesus, to the head. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of an exploit here because I'm on fire and I really need to. So, glitch. And... Trust in... Oh, now they're already off. Lucid, you are really totally wandering the wrong direction. I am very worried about your uh, your safety, but I have to look away now. 
Wish I didn't have to, but it is a must. So you're not the only one in danger. Lucid Serpentine? Okay, you're down. At least you're downed. Uh, so, Trustin and Glitch. Ah, Freaking blasters. Got his torso. It's hard to fight. It's hard to micromanage two fights at once. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And I have no res mech. What? God, I'm so far out of the range here. I'm running out of wiggle room because I'm going to get cut off by uh, the centipede, so I just need a beeline east. Now, at the moment, there is... Oh, no, there's more centipedes coming up on me. Uh, Shellbell, I'm gonna have you close this door. Run, run, run. Oh, I can hit another sabotage. It's gonna be a little sketchy. Because I'm gonna be in range. But they don't seem to be paying attention to me. Got it? I like how it just it starts attacking a random boom rat. Like, sucks to be your boom rat. Alright, disengaging with you guys. Hopefully the shield belts hold. Uh, while the rest of the mechs are dealing with the berserked mech, let's fight... that one. And then you guys bring... these two mechs over... to the entryway. Because a lot of the ones that are left, as you can see, are incendiary, which um, took Lucid down. It's now hard snowing, so hopefully Lucid doesn't burn up. It gives me the chance to potentially uh, res mech him. Potentially, I you know, no guarantees. All right, so that door is closed. Good. Uh, I need to divide and conquer these two centipedes. One of them, this one. The one I walked away from. Oh no, there's a third one. Is um is really already damaged quite heavily. But my solars are getting knocked. Uh you guys are going to take wake up, because I need a fighting force. Actually, yeah, no, take wake up over go juice. I need a fighting force and I can't uh I can't afford to lose more fighters. Are you not Oh, you're, you're still berserked. Alright, Lucid has 44% of his body left. Okay, you guys are awake. Uh, how's your food? Consume. And consume. Now, these guys haven't been EMP'd yet, but I think I'm going to keep Shell with a gun. Unless there's a, a better weapon for me to equip. A lion shotgun's too heavy. I need an Asari weapon, but I don't have access to Asari weapons. So, nope. Guess not. The centipede's hanging in there. I'd like to be able to clear the burns, too, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. So, this is the one that's really damaged. I'm going to go for that one first. And I'm going to pull it uh, to isolate it and knock it out. Man, what an unlucky burn. Oh, nice! Instant kill.
Okay, there's two big ones left. I'll try to pull a big one off and isolate. And I'm gonna have Shell Bell do a second pull to pull it away from the group because I don't want to fight two at once. Right, my sabotage is working quite well. My plan of isolating the the heavy blasters is working also quite well. Uh, Shelba, you get nice and close to this one. Shoot. Uh, pull it again. Because otherwise our shield belts are going to get hammered. Keep pulling away from the original. Oh, Icarus, that's a hard hit. Alright, run. Shelby, you're just gonna take it for a bit. Come on, kill this. Kill that centipede. And tank it, did she ever? We're good. Icarus, how's that hit? I know you're wearing a toque, so you're missing an ear. Copy that. I might want to line up for another pull here. To bring it away from the other Senny. I do have another sabotage for Trustin. So I'm gonna to try to snake Trustin towards this centipede here. Because if Glitch can kill this one, the rest of the crew kills that one, and I berserk this one, this centipede is gonna destroy the remaining four incendiaries, and I'm not really gonna to have to do anything, which would be awesome, because I am busy. Pull again. Okay, the uh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Am I in? No, I'm not in range. Uh, okay. Fall back. I'm gonna have to sneak up and get a hack on it. Because, um, they're just gonna blast me otherwise. So it'd be really ideal if I killed this centipede and then hacked this one, and then this centipede will kill the remaining four incendiaries. Um, so that's, that's my plan. Oh, good! That one's dead. Um, uh, Shell Bell tuck into this corridor to patch up that that ear for Icarus. So this is... Where's the really broken... Uh, where's the super broken one? It's the one fault that fell behind. Okay. Ranger, you're just bruised, so you're fine. Whoa, it's coming. Icarus, uh, I'm gonna have you biotic attack because I know you're injured and I'm just gonna use up your biotics. And then glitch. Trustin, go here, glitch, go there. I almost have the inside of the base uh, safe. This is the last centipede that's uh, breached inside. Actually, I'm just going to auto-cast this. Icarus will just spam the, the hell of it. Alright, so the, the one I want broken is so far behind that I probably don't even need to worry about it. Alright, you're out of biotics, so step on in. Nice! Okay, it is safe for the citizens to walk about the town. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lure this heavy blaster uh, as close to Trustin as I can to drop a hack on it. So it can kill the rest of the centipedes for me and I don't have to do anything. Lucid, your body is 
still here. Good. So, Rager, you're healed up. And... Icarus, you're missing an ear, but you're healed up. So these guys are dismissed. I don't need them at the moment. So what is the range of sabotage? Uh, let's check. 19? 20? 20? So that's roughly the range. So I, now I know when to pop out. And Glitch, start running east. Keep luring them. Hug the wall so they hug the wall. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Outpost Zero, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 15th and October 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this was a one-time streamed mini-series. If you would like to catch live streams of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers, and also viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, my fellow Pathfinders.